Nick. You going crazy? I'm a real young legend, I'm one of the greats. Ain't happen overnight, it's a lot of pain. Been grinding for years, I did no waiting. At this point, I'm on stop, but they might well say. They ain't gotta give me shit, I came in to take it. I'm a six figure nigga, little baby. I ain't basic, got a closet full of demons. I'm fighting with Satan. When I'm out there, Waukesha, I move like the mace. I've been running up, baby, they been running their mouth. I done run up another catch. Y'all wouldn't believe where we're at right now. Where we at? We at a cafe filming this. Hold on, we recording? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's not ready. Tell me he's a professional. Yeah, I'm a professional. He's a professional. Uh, so I got a bunch of questions today, Trap. It's just me and Trap. My name's Noah. Did some of his music videos. Now I'm doing other stuff. I'll probably get around to talking about it. We're going to start off. What's what's the biggest risk you've taken, bro? Um, in the streets, in business, in music. What do you think the biggest risk is? I don't know because I, everything I do is risk. Okay. Bro, you got like, see this is how I look at it, bro. You gotta think. A lot of people don't look at this like a risk, but this is like one of the biggest risks that people overlook. Bro, as soon as you walk out your house, though, that's a risk. Like you might walk out and never come back in there. Staying in, staying in your house is a risk because you might get a heart disease because you're not walking. But nah, <laughs> no, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like you could walk out your house and yeah, get killed, like, bro. Yeah. Like that's like one of the the. I don't want to say this. That's probably one of the more common ways you'll die. But that's one of the biggest risks people take every day going outside. And people yeah. don't even realize that. Bro, you can go outside, get in your car, yeah. get on the highway, 18 will smack you. Yeah. You can go out your door, get in your car, somebody kill you. Yeah. Like, people don't be thinking about that. But I be thinking about it. Like, every time I walk out that door, they, they possibly could be your last time going out that door. So you think about that every day? Not every day, but it, you know, it crosses my mind sometimes. Does that help? make the risks you take every day a little bit more easier to deal with because you're like oh i could die anyway might as well do might as well do this crazy thing nah bro i be chilling bro like i don't be doing bro listen i don't be doing that hey, look i stay away from the bad parts of town yeah smart. unless it's some money over there and i'm in and out if it's yeah. some money over there i'm in and out but other than that bro i stay cuz bro like i don't yeah. be having time for the little young kids no more man yeah yeah, they be too ruthless, bro. I ain't got time for it. Hey, well, look. You were in the streets, and then you started making music, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't, you didn't start music first, right? Nah. First. Bro, what inspired me to start making music, bro? I was, I was really trying to get rich. And I, I was bored, bro. You thought music like, was the right way to get rich? Like, I was bored, bro. Like, yeah. it was, I'm like, damn, I'm making all this money. I'm like, damn, I need to do something. Yeah. So, bro. I, like, I had two decisions. I'm like, bro, I'm going to either try to start boxing or rap. So I'm like, which one would it be easier? I'm like, so, bro, that's what made me go at the rap, bro. Mm -hmm. But, bro, I never wanted to rap. I ain't even going to lie to you. Bro, I ain't even know how to rap. But you spent so much money on it. I know. At the beginning, I never wanted to rap. Bro, I didn't even know how to rap in the beginning, bro. Yeah. I had to teach myself how to rap. I had to teach myself how to write a bar, bro. I ain't even know how to write a bar. Like, I used to just write it like a paragraph. Yeah. Like, I didn't know how to write it like balls and all that. Yeah, yeah but I taught myself, bro. How did it feel to teach yourself? And you're like, damn, I learned how to rap. Yeah. Hey, I, 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 I taught myself how to rap and I'm harder than a lot of niggas in the city. Oh, here he go, talking smack. No cap. I am, though. Like, bro, you could go. We could, if we talk about, like, a real song and not just dissing people, like, bro, it ain't too many people in the city that can see me with it. Mm. Like, not. Cause think, bro, it's, it's it's a lot of rappers in the city right now. Durham, yeah. Yeah, yeah. bro. 80, 90% of them rappers dissing somebody on every song. That That's all that song's about, dissing somebody. That's not a good strategy at all, dude. Because all you're doing is calling heat towards yourself. But you know what's crazy? That's what they be loving, though. That's why they be blowing up so you quick. Off. A, you think it's attention? Yeah, that's why they be blowing up so quick off of that. I feel like, like I told myself I'd never do that to blow up. Like no, but if I gotta do that to blow up, I'm good. Yeah, like, like, I'm straight on that. It's it's not even it's not even worth the risk. Music is so you so such a low chance of success anyway. Such That's a, a low fact. chance to make money. And you talking about putting yourself in real life harm to take? It's like the ultimate like lottery ticket. That hey, you'll you know never what's win. crazy, bro? Yeah, I was just telling my man. I was just telling Kuja, matter of fact. I'm like, yo, bro. I stopped rapping. Like I'm like, bro. It caught, rap caused too much unwanted attention, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, before I was rapping, I could stay anywhere in Durham. I was good. Like, all, the only people that knew me was the people that knew me from the streets. Would it, been, would it have been worth it if you were making a lot of money with it, though? Yeah, that's a then fact. you move successful. But like I said, yeah, you can't even make money with music like that. Unless yeah, you, like, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I probably don't put, like, literally, bro, I probably done invested, like, 300000 in music. 300000 
Where else could you have put that? Right. Could have got a YouTube studio. Could have got. Right, bro. Yeah. I like, bro. Do you do you do you regret doing that, or do you think it taught you something? Nah, I don't regret. Cause, bro, you never know if you're gonna succeed if you don't try. Yeah. So nah, I don't regret it. That's a good thing. I'm just, bro. I'm shit. I just, I just don't retire. Right. So you retire from music and you retire from the streets. Right? Yeah. You're not that's in the streets fact. no more. That's a fact. So I don't, I don't just a YouTuber now. You know. Are there any challenges leaving the streets? Nah, not really. The streets don't got form, bro. Yeah, you tell me about that. that. Ain't yeah. Insane, man. I don't, I don't, it's because everybody wanna be in the streets now. Like back then, people didn't wanna be in the streets, so they say. Is it a is it a cool thing? Yeah, bro. A lot of people try to be in the streets just to look cool. Not even money. Man, uh, bro. It's people, part of it, I guess. Hey, people, bro. At the youngest these days, they prefer to catch a body over getting some money, bro. Like, hey, they want them a hat. Why is that? Because of the music they listen to, or is it other things? Is it? Yeah, it's just what it's, Bro, you gotta think. A lot of people fall under peer pressure, bro. Say, for instance, right? Yeah. Say, if you with me and him right there, and you keep seeing us doing something, eventually yeah. you gonna wanna do it, bro. Yeah. If we keep asking you, you gonna wanna do it. Your environment shapes you 100%. Yeah, like, bro, I don't fall under peer pressure, though. Like, I was just telling my cousin that. Like, yeah. we'll be talking about something. Oh, bro, we could be talking about bet. I don't gamble. Like, mm. like I, I won't gamble with you. Like, I sports bet, but I won't gamble with you. Mm. Like, my cousin here, but like, oh, you this, you that. I'm like, cuz, I don't fold under peer pressure, bro. You can stop. So, okay, let's say someone is trying to lead the streets. Do you have any advice for them? Man, I just make sure you. Come on. I assume you gotta have some money before you decide to leave. This is how I look at leaving the streets, right? Don't leave the streets if you gotta come back to the streets. So, you gotta make sure you got enough money yeah. to where you can start a business and afford not to make no money for like six months to a year. Yeah. Like, if you ain't got enough money to where you can live life for at least for a year without making a dollar, don't leave the streets, bro. Because a lot of people only be having like 10, 20,000 and they be thinking they rich. Like, I ain't nothing, yeah. bro. Like, I used to have 20,000. I thought I was rich. Too. But see, now in my business, <laughs> I got everything in my personal checking. Right, and so I didn't even know how much I owed in taxes. I had like 20k in my checking account. I was like 20. I was like, yeah, boy, y'all can't touch me. And then once I paid them taxes, shit said a hundred dollars. I said, Hold on, you only had a hundred dollars left? Oh, dude. So I was always buying camera gear, like thousands of dollars on camera you gear. It off? I was, but also it still cost money. My tax bill was like 10 grand. So after that, I had like a few thousand, which ended up getting spent anyway. Hey, you know it's crazy. Mm. This year was my first year ever paying taxes. Yeah, how is it? Like, yeah, it's fun, ain't it? I'm saying, like, all right. Yeah, I was paying, they was taking taxes out of my shit. So, like, this year I probably want to pay, like, 1600 in taxes. Nice. I got, I owe taxes from 2021 and 2022. Yeah. So, I've got, like, probably 20, 20 grand I got to pay out still. So, it's yeah. fun. I don't like taxes, though, bro. It's because, Nobody does. I feel like they be beating people, bro. Like, bro, when I was paying myself... And it's going to other, and it's going to other people anyway. I was paying myself 3000 every two weeks. Bro, do you not... Bro, each check they was taking, like, $750. So, I let... Bro, in a month, I was getting 6000 They was taking, like, out of that 6000 I was probably only getting, like, 4500 The mm-hmm. other fifteen was for taxes. Bro, then I started looking at the breakdown. Like, they taking it for, like, Medicare for old people. Yeah. Like, bro, why am I helping them get Medicare? Y'all won't even let me get it. Yeah. Make sense to me, bro. A lot of this shit in here don't make sense, bro. Like, I'm considering moving to another country at this point. Really? Yeah. I'm thinking Costa Rica. I don't know. So, I, I if you, if you, you've heard about, you heard about uh, living in Costa Rica, what that's like? Nah. It's cheaper. Like, 20, 30% cheaper. Land's cheaper. Uh, you can go there with just a passport. So, you can go there for 30 days. And then, if you just, like, visit another country and come back, you can come back for another 30 days. You can buy land without being a citizen there as well. So many things. But anyway, let's get back. Let's get back to the trap, right? Let's get back. I could talk a little bit about myself as well, since we are talking about trap and music. Uh, is there anything you want to ask me, or you just want to hear about? You know, you know pretty much all my story though. Starting with music, right? Music industry, music videos. Nah, I don't know, bro. You don't know how I started? No. Nah, hold on, bro. Was that your first video? No. 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 No, like the first video you shot by yourself. No. Who mm. was? This guy I used to go to high school with who only had his songs on SoundCloud. And he, I don't even think he paid me. He may have paid me like $100. And we filmed in his house. And 
I'm sorry, but it, I did not like it at all. I, don't, I didn't like a lot of the songs I filmed music videos for, but I was just like, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to do my job. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, but no, the next few videos that I did were completely for free. And a lot of these guys I was shooting for didn't have a car. So I would pick these guys up in my car hey, and drive them around. Did my video for free, right? I, I thought was, you were broke. I remember that day, right? Yeah. I was, bro, I was running around all day trying to find. That was the that was the, was the was the project, baby. What was that? Nah, right. uh, what was the first one? We did it with we did it with Cujo, right? I forgot when I was. Yeah, it's with Cujo. Public but, housing baby. Yeah, public housing baby. Public housing baby. Yeah. I know, but that whole day I was running around trying to find some white forces, right? You know what's crazy, bro? Mm. Bro, you didn't even have our feet in the video, bro. You never showed our feet in the you video. You didn't tell me to I could have put flip flops on. If, you sh if you're going to see the music video, just know they always want to show the outfit. <laughs> they always want to show the head to the toe. Yeah, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm like, the video was hard. You just never showed our feet, though. It was really yellow, too. Remember yeah. that? It I'm was like, hard. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, so I'm, I first met you because I was shadowing this other director, Illy Rock. Yeah, Illy Rock. And then I remember showing up to your house. I think we already knew we was going to shoot a video. I showed up to your house, and you were complaining about not having any money. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, damn, was this, guy, this guy broke. I'm not going to be able to work with him. No, this guy. And then sure I enough. I had to test you, bro. Like, I, had, I was doing no purpose. Like, no sure. And I did it for free, didn't I? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you had hit me up. You're like, yeah, bro, I'm trying to get my name. That free work will give you the most amount of money, bro. That free work, dog. So here we are. He quit music. We're doing a podcast. Still working together, so. Hey, you know what's crazy? Uh -huh. No. Uh, that is crazy. You quit when I quit, man. I mean, uh, I'm still doing music videos to get cash, uh, and I'm building up Faith's spa right now, so that's fun. Is she, is she on that location by herself? No, she's, right now she's renting a suite in downtown Raleigh, and she gets it for a few days a week, but we're moving to a new suite, a little north of Raleigh, and it's really cool because it's going to be her own room that she can decorate and, and be in there like as much as she wants. Uh, it's like four times more expensive, but I feel like it's gonna be really, really good. It's it's way better. Um, her, we want to get her to we want to get her to at least four grand a month, uh, as high as eight grand a month, and so we're gonna run Facebook ads. Profit she, or gross? Total, right, just total. total before expenses and everything. You've talked about starting many businesses. You talking about t-shirt print company before, trucking company, like yeah, like. Well, so what are, what are you doing, bro? Because you can't, I don't care what you say, you can't do multiple businesses well, at you, once. You gotta understand, a lot of it, a lot of them are, because a lot of it don't be for me. It be like, for my girl, I just like. Yeah. You just be thinking it be for me. What does she want to do? Like, whatever, man, whatever she want to do, I'm cool with it. Like, it's, mm. a, it's a lot that she want to do. Mm. Like, I be cool with it, bro. Gotcha. Like, I ain't gonna say, nah, like. Yeah, bro, like I say, look, you never gonna know if something works if you don't try. We're gonna do a little game here. We're gonna do a little question game. Would you rather make a million dollars in the streets or a million dollars with a legitimate business? Honestly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You mean like... In the streets, cash. Nobody knows how you made it. You got cash, but you can't put it in a bank. I don't like banks anyway. Okay, or a million dollars in a business. You know, you probably gotta pay taxes on it, but it's yeah, all official. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Me personally... I take the million in the streets because we're thinking after you pay that million, them taxes. Yeah. Bro, you ain't gonna have. You, a million. You're gonna have like six hundred k left. Probably. Yeah, like that's four hundred just. Yeah. Gone. So I take the million in the street. But you could use that million invest in real estate and be tax free too. But still, you still four hundred down. Mm. But you would reduce your taxes if you invested in real estate. But you're not gonna in, bro. All right, like for instance, you know how people win the lottery? Sooner they cash their check, the taxes go in and take their part. Yeah. So with that million, they not going to wait for you to do all the real estate. They going to go in and get it. Yeah, they would wait till the end of the year. But, but, but your, your, your real estate coming to probably ain't going to make money by then. Bro, me personally, I'm taking a million in the street. Okay. I well, that was the question, so thank hey, you. Hey, I'm, I'm going to figure out how to maneuver it, but I'm taking the million in the street, bro. That's yeah. just me. Would you rather perform... At a major music festival, or have a viral video on YouTube that gets a lot of views. Uh, That's a good one, huh? 
I take the YouTube. You take the YouTube? Yeah. You're not really into any festivals? Because, but a lot of times they don't be getting paid for the festivals. Maybe, I mean, maybe not if you're like the first guy out there, you know? Well, well a lot of times they just be doing it for the look. Yeah. Like, it's all, it's all facade. Fan base. Like, a lot of times they don't be getting paid for the festivals. Hmm. But I'll take that video because I'm going to continuously get paid off of that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is there anything you learned from the trap life that you still use today? Um, for the trap life, the, hey, counter surveillance. <laughs> counter surveillance. No, for real. Tell me about that. Like, bro, I don't. Like, when I'm on the way to the crib, like, even if it's a car behind me, I don't. I won't turn into my neighborhood. Just a random car. Yeah, it can be a rental car. I still won't turn to my neighborhood. I'm still gonna go down, go through another neighborhood. Even if you gotta do the loop like ten times because yeah, it's another like, car behind you. I'm still doing it. Okay. Like I still do that, bro. Do you think that's kept you safe? Uh, for the most part. I'm for the most good. part, you been. I mean, you here? Yeah, for the most part, I'm good. I ain't gonna cap. You wanna know it's crazy? Yeah. I don't be wanting to. I don't be wanting it. But if it happened, it happened. Cause mm. it's going down, but like if somebody was to come in my spot while I'm in there. So you're one of those people who looks forward to somebody breaking in your house. Yeah, kind of sort of. Like, it's it's happened to you before. Yeah. You you down. look forward to that again? Yeah, it's going down, bro. What? Why though? You got some pent up anger. Like what is that? What's what makes you want to do that? I don't know, bro. It's just you know. You just want somebody to try it. Yeah. You're not one of those people that leave your door unlocked and see somebody come in, are you? No. I, I, you know what's crazy? Every night before I go to sleep, I check all three of my doors. Hmm. I check the garage door, front door, and back door. Like, I'm double checking them. I'm, Cause you never know. Like, you might have hmm. thought you locked it, didn't lock it. Like, what's the what's the extra security measure that you take? Yeah, do you, do you, I know you probably got the ring cameras. Got, uh, yeah, I got cameras. You got like something that, that closed the door, a little prop the door closed? Yeah, I got, I got the door. I got them all the doors. You got a secret exit into the basement? You got a little nah. tunnel? Mm-hmm. Nah, you should get I don't get need it. that. I'm going to tell you something else. When I first moved into the house, I go head on and find spots. So we're like, if somebody come in here, I know where I'm going to shoot from already. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, where you got a plan like that because yeah. it's some spots that you go to and you shoot from, you might can get hit yourself. Mm. So you gotta try to find like, a good spot to where like you go there, you scrape, you locked in, like. Where's somewhere you would never live? That's just not safe, like an apartment. Ah or... yeah, bro. I don't like apartments. Mm. Cause this thing, think of all them people over there, bro. You never know who watching. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, nope. I think they not safe. If you ask me, I think they not safe. Like I was telling my people. Like he was like, yeah, bro, my talking got broken into. I'm like, bro, like apartments, bro. It could be anybody that I broke into. And he like, yeah, I was just asking, bro. I'm like, bro, he probably the one that did it. Like, <laughs> you never know, bro. Like, all right, we're gonna pause right here for a sec because we were supposed to have a guest on this episode, and we didn't hear back from him. So we just started by ourselves, and so that guest just called trap and realized that he was supposed to be there. So this is. The conversation that they had. <laughs> we putting this in this plan. Bro, I'm gonna try to find a location for the mall, bro. And I'm gonna. What you find? What you mean location, like? Like somewhere, a spot to shoot it at, bro. Like. You only know if I'm free tomorrow. Like, yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I gotta make sure my boy's free. What's his name? Uh, pasta. Nah, nah. <laughs> 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 it's Noah. <laughs> you didn't even say it the right way, dog. It's it's Noah, but people call me Alfredo. His dumb ass said pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's stupid. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you too, dog. So. I'm gonna see you in person after show, though. All right, cool. We'll figure it out. Cool, 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 cool. Come on, we'll try to find a location. I'm gonna call your phone back to you. All right. All right. Man, you niggas said, what's up, pasta? No, dog. I'm putting that in there, dog. You... <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> oh, I, I've been laughing so much, I'm gonna hide. Yeah, 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 I'm gon
the Lord will bring you a counter, a counter surveillance is able. Y'all never took y'all to round us, bro. And then y'all gotta start hanging with new people. Hey, just because you went to middle school with somebody, hey, you 25 now, bro. That was, like, that was 10 years ago. Don't mean you still know that man or. Well, you can trust that man, y'all. So don't man. trust old friends? Is that what you're saying? Hey, I hate when old friends try to come back around and be cool with you. Hey, what you doing? Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. I hate that. Cause, but now I'm trying to figure out why you back. Like, why you back, bro? What went wrong? Yeah, like, <laughs> why are you back all of a sudden? Something yeah. ain't right. Like, yeah. Hey, no, you wait. You say you keeping all that? Yeah. I'll put... <laughs> right, it funny yeah, it was funny. I'll put, I'll put what's good in there. What's good? I'll put what is good in there. Oh. Yeah, well. Especially the hard drive. <laughs> hey, no, that's, no, I ain't gonna lie, that's how I be though, right? Because when I be having an appointment or something and I oversleep, as soon as I see that young hit, I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Hey, look, it be so crazy. I know I can come and be late, but I'm like, fuck it, I ain't coming at all. I did that twice in a row with the same guy. I was like, damn, I can't show up no more. Hold on, what you supposed to be doing? Boxing. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was 7 a.m., dog. It was an hour away, 7 a.m. <laughs> it was supposed to be one-on-one training. <laughs> he was sitting there waiting on me. <laughs> did it happen again next week? I was like, just just, just count that as a session. Just. You see a pain? Do you got no choice? It was... I, Oh, the two times was like one sixty two, one hundred sixty dollars. Each or together? Together. Oh, there ain't It was like eighty each. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Hold on, man. <sighs> y'all for bro, but a lot of people don't. Bro, I be dealing with depression, bro. Like, yeah. Sometimes I do not be wanting to talk to people. That's why when people call me, I just text them like, bro, it's good. Like, bro, I don't be, I don't be in a talking mood all the time, bro. I understand. Like, sometimes I be down. Like, bro, it, 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 that's why I tell you, you can have all the money in the world, but you still go through stuff. Like, people think money make problems with the way it don't. Like, it really don't, bro. Like, At that point, you just want peace. Yeah, like, I just be, well, some days I just be wanting to chill, so people be calling me out. Like, uh, bro, then sometimes I be having to get, I be having to get high again. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm call the old guy. Yeah. Like, I done got good at how I'm ready to talk. Like, now let me call him back. But other than that, I don't be wanting to talk sometimes, bro. Like, I be going for a lot of people, though. You know what's crazy? I got to get rid of stop popping pills. Because I got I got that last surgery coming up. And I can't. So you got to. Yeah, I got to. Because I might go to sleep and not wake up. Like, bro, I don't. Why? Is it just so easy to do it? Or the effects is just. Nah, it's the effect. Bro, it's easy to start taking them, but it's hard to stop taking them. Like, bro, I've mm. been taking pills for like, probably like 14 years. Like, hey, it's crazy though, because you can't look at me and tell. A lot of times, people that pop pills, they be junkies. Like, you can, bro, I be seeing some people in public, I'm like, well, he how I feel. I just know. Yeah. Like, bro, hey, I be going to the doctor, he be like, um, you taking that thing? I be looking at him with a straight face, nah. He probably looking like, you man, you high as hell. But, like, is it something you could replace? Because I feel like a lot, of, what I've heard is, like, when you try and quit something, it's like, okay, yeah. it's that empty space. If you don't have anything to replace it with, you're going to go back to it. Yeah, like, what could you replace? I don't know, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about replacing them with shrooms. That's not bad. I, That's not I a bad know, idea. Why I went to crush this video? <laughs> this dude was like, you know, trying to shroom for the first time. <laughs> so he like, mom record me. So I guess he took him in the video started and that. <laughs> he was standing on top of the table. <laughs> standing on top of what? Hey, he was standing on top of the table, right? Yeah. And he kept screaming. <laughs> he like, mom, they trying to f- <laughs> he took too many though. He took too many. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. Well, I ain't gonna cut. Hey, I want to experience some shit like that. Would you do an episode was, on shrooms? Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. If he was that high, I want to be that high. I ain't gonna lie. I was jealous. I ain't gonna tell you I was jealous, bro. Mm. But now I'm gonna oh, tell you how to set it up. Cause, bro, a lot of people be overlooking stuff. Mm. Like, bro, for instance, right? You might call one of your homeboys to do something. Mm. They might be like, I'm busy. Mm. But as soon as they call you to do something and you say you busy, it's a problem. Yeah. Like, bro, you got to start paying attention to stuff like that, bro. You can't overlook stuff like that all the time. Now, if they really busy, cool. But you know, you, everybody know they got that one homeboy that he ain't got nothing going. Like, you know. <laughs> I'm busy in bed right now, though. He ain't got nothing going and he's talking about he busy. He, 
Yeah. And it might be something you need in him that's important, bro. But if you say something about, yeah, bro, I'm going to pay you this, he own it. He ready now. Yeah. Like, bro, like, I'm saying, cool. Some people be need money, but, bro, everything shouldn't be about money, bro. Like, everything should not be about a dollar. It just should, bro. Like, yeah. Like, I value, let me see, I value money over relationships. Do you? I mean, do I'm you? Well, wait a second. <laughs> the truth tr- <laughs> <The> tr- <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say, I value relationships over so money. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, dude. Nah, keep that in there, though, because I'm posting that for real. Yeah. But no, nah, I value relationships over money, bro. Like, but you know how many times I, like, but somebody might be trying to pay me for something. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, cause I might need to build that other branch with them. Mm-hmm. I know later on down the line I'm gonna need them. So why not go ahead and look out for them now? So when I need them, they ready and willing to return the favor, bro. Yeah. Like, that's why I be telling people like, bro, you ain't gotta get paid for everything you do, bro. Like, you ain't gotta get paid yeah. for everything. Like, I don't sometimes. Like, bro, it depends. Like, if it's something that I know, like, all right, I'm good. I don't really need the money. I'm straight. I'm not going to charge you. Like, yeah. I don't need it, bro. Why am I? Yeah. Like, we need to build that bond and relationship, man. Hey, you might help me get a million dollars, but I'm a, I'm a, I ain't about to mess it up trying to charge you every time. Nah, bro. Yeah. I need that knowledge and advice you got, bro. You know? That's why I be shooting free music videos every day. But, it's like, nah, I don't Nah, <laughs> that's dead. Why not, bro? Because my goals have changed. Bro, I never, wa- I never wanted to be a big music video director. But bro, it might be that one artist you shoot that free video for, and he might blow up tomorrow. That's he might make you his like. Might a lot of mites. Like, a lot of mites. Chance, so. A lot of people say they're always the best. Everybody says it. Yeah, everybody say that. Everybody it, say it. It's, it's always somebody better than that. I gotta know your character. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you something else. What time is it? Hey, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, hey man, this for the, hey, this for the, the people that be thinking they be tough, like, hey, they be going to the club, and every time they go to the club, they be walking around with their face balled up. <laughs> what you mean balled up? Show like, it. Show me how it looks. <laughs> They be walking around with their face balled. Like, you know how you can tell when you see a person like, oh, he itching for a problem. Bro, I like, <laughs> I'd rather not go to the club or no one with nobody like that, bro. Because, bro, I be high, so, bro, I just be trying to chill and vibe out, bro. Like, mm. I don't be trying to go nowhere and get to fight. Man, hey, I be fresh, bro. I don't be wanting to get my feet up. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't want to knock no diamonds out my watch. Like, none yes. of that, bro. Like, I just want to chill, get some money on Money, what you call it? Hey, that's all I Say it again. Like, I just want to chill and get some money on you know. <laughs> that's it, bro. Money on, eat some funyuns. That's it, bro. I just want some money, man. Like, I don't even... Bro, that's another reason why I stay in the crib now, bro. Because, like, when I used to be outside all the time, I used to be unfocused. Like, for instance, what, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we was doing stuff. So, I'm like, damn, I feel like I'm getting unfocused, bro. Like, yeah. Let's go ahead and tighten back up, like... What's the goal besides money, dog? Nah. What you What do you like to do? Man, I like to chill, honestly. Just chill. Bro, I get you joy. done. You done so much. I get joy out of chilling. I ain't gonna lie to you. You get what? Joy. I get joy out of just sitting at home, bro. I mean, you you work for it. Like, I I can sit in my room for a few hours, just look at the, look outside the window, feel good about like, it. I be getting joy out of being in the crib, like. But then I ain't gonna lie. I also hate being in the crib too much. Like sometimes you will be in the house too much to where it, it just piss you off, bro. Hey, y'all, hey, don't be trying to run off on the plug. Hey, look, why you gonna run off on the plug and he trying to get you rich? Like, what's the purpose of that, bro? Like, that's a one-time win for a long-term loss. Yeah, you feel me? You got this little money right now, and a lot of times when people do that, they be broke in a week. So you done ran off, this man could have helped you get money for years. Like, bro, when I was getting money, I was getting money with the same person for like 10 years. Like, that's how loyal y'all was, bro. You gotta, hey, me and loyalty, like, hey, we probably, we, we like that. We gonna make this the outro. I'm gonna give y'all some information. Hey, never get high on a drug that you selling, bro. Like, cause bro, you gonna be smoking your profit up. Or you gonna, you might be sniffing your profit up. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> You might don't sniff your profit up, don't smoke your profit up, find you another drug. 
if you want to do drugs. And really, we out, bro. I don't know what episode this is, but we'll figure that out. But we gone. We gone. We gone. That's it. That's it. Goodbye. Hey, Nick. You going crazy? I'm a real young legend. I wanted to graze. Ain't happen overnight. It's a lot of patience. Been grinding for years. I did no waiting. At this point, I'm on star, but they might well fade. They ain't got to give me shit. I came in to take it. I'm a six-figure nigga. Little baby, I ain't based. Got a closet full of demons. I'm fighting with Satan. When I'm out there, Waukesha, I move like the mage. I been running.